Good morning, Kingswood, and welcome to Stockwell Primary School. Good morning. Raising the Game is an initiative we are running across Lambeth, across 34 schools, where we are aiming and working hard to focus on raising the achievement of Black Caribbean children. AIM High Primary is an event where we invite different industry experts to come and talk to our children about how they got to where they did. We want you all to aim very, very high for your future. But in order to do that, you need to know what jobs there are. You need to be able to ask questions. You need to be able to know exactly what you need to do in order to become judges, teachers, doctors, surgeons, and so on. So my job is to actually help people use technology. Do you work in an office? I do work in an office. Yeah. Events like these brings this information forward. Uh, it gives the children an idea of what happens in, in, in the real world and the type of things that they can do. Uh, it, it also gives them a goal as well to achieve. Um, whether they change it later on in life, that's a different matter, but at least we're giving them something now to focus on. I graduated from university, graduated. and that's what helped me to be a teacher. If you want to be a teacher, you have to, you have to be educational and you have to listen in every lesson and read a lot. Children need to know what it is they can do. Now, being in Lambeth, being in any school, children have a picture of what they see. They see lots of images on television, ideas of being things like footballers or singers or other things that may inspire them. But it's a really good idea to open their minds to what else there is out there so that they can see that there are so many different professions that they're able to do. I would like to be a football player and I would like and I would like to be a, a teacher. So I can tell people about all of the different sports because I want to be a sports teacher. When I grow up, I would like to be an engineer. Today, I've learned about, um, that, about lawyers. So that's the one thing about law. There's a lot of reading, but you don't have to know everything because you'll have a specialism. So you can have, um, as you can see here, this is a barrister. Uh, events like this are important because um, children have to understand what professions are before they can see themselves fitting into it. There are very few black people in certain professions, there are very few people of Caribbean descent in particular in certain professions, and then they'll internalise that and because they don't meet anybody, they'll then think that the profession isn't necessarily for them. Um, and then it just adds to people feeling disenfranchised, etc. So I think that this event will inspire them to not just get involved in certain professions from a work experience perspective, but will um, remind them that they can do whatever they want to do because they've got the skills for it. And when they meet those people, they'll see that, yes, this is a job for me. I, I've, enjoy, I've enjoyed mostly learning about teaching and, and medicine and do doctors. I've always wanted to be a teacher, but to see how doctors handle their patient, I really want to try. Did you two want to be a doctor or you didn't? You just wanted to chose it because somebody else chose it for you? That's a really good question. Michelle, why did you want to be a doctor? So I initially wanted to be a basketball player and then I started to do voluntary work and help people and then I really liked helping people so I thought oh I'll try and become a doctor and also my brother was unwell at one point um, and I saw lots of doctors helping him and I really liked the job that they did so I decided I want to be a doctor. So when I was eight that was when I decided that I wanted to be a doctor so I was maybe one or two years older than all of you and I read a book about a very famous black surgeon and he did a very important operation and it changed like the world forever. So I thought, when I'm older, I want to be like him. So that's why I decided <coughs> to be He not. inspired you. He inspired me, good. I would like to be a doctor because one lady of, over there inspired me. Well, I didn't always want to be a doctor before. I wanted to be a gymnast because I just like really like gymnastics and, and then I wanted to be a basketball player. So I was inspired to volunteer today because I just think it's really important that young children can see dentistry as an option. When I was young it was something I never really thought about and I was inspired by going to my dentist who kind of gave me the idea that I could become a dentist 
And I think it's nice for children to see young people in careers such as dentistry and medicine and just open their minds to the fact that they can do that as well. Children can only be what they see, so a lot of children um, only aspire to be certain things because that's all they see around them. So especially for young black children somewhere in areas like London, they might not see people who look like them who are doctors or lawyers or scientists or politicians um, or engineers very often, so they aspire to do things like be a football player or be a musician, which is, which is fine as well, but I want children to be able to see that they can be anything they want and not just be pigeonholed into certain professions or careers. I want to be a doctor because the doctor said, because they changed my mind and they inspired me. So it's very good that I wanted to be a doctor now. Because before I said I wanted to be a, a boxer. Growing up in London as well, I didn't see any young black doctors um, and therefore it took me quite a while to think about becoming a doctor. So I think it's important to, for us to get to children when they're quite young um, so that they have these thoughts in their mind and they can work towards it sort of throughout their life rather than sort of at the end struggling to get through and to become a doctor that they can know from a young age um, and become a doctor. I've learned that you can be anything and you can be whatever you like because you can you it's your choice what what you want to be. I want to be a teacher and that's what I wanted that's what I wanted to be. When we're thinking about the future, we're opening young minds and these children are our future. So if we can inspire any of them to think about opening up and thinking of a different profession, then you know we've done our job. We are here to show them that you know all the different people here um, come from a wide range of professions and that they can do it as well. I've learned um, a lot of things. I've learned you can be a lawyer, you can be whatever you want, but you have to work for it. Now you are ambassadors of inspiration. You need to go to your schools, do an assembly, and tell them about everything that you experienced and heard today, okay? Because we need more doctors, teachers, scientists, surgeons, lawyers, barristers. We need more of them. And we are relying on all of you, okay? To be focused at school and work hard so you can be whatever you want to be.